how long after that first plane hit did those elevators blow out, would you say? Oh, we were in there for maybe five minutes. Five minutes and the elevators exploded on us. Yeah, we, 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 we said something's wrong here. Yeah. I mean, the plane hit up on the 80th floor. I mean, in five minutes, all of a sudden, now the elevators are exploding on the first level of the lobby. We, we was just, you know, you think about it, you, you say something else had to go on here. Something else was going on here. This just don't happen like this if when a plane hits the 80th floor of a building and the lobby gets blown out. You want to call, you, you call your mother or something? Right you now. gotta get back. Yeah. You know that. You right. gotta get back. All right. Don't worry about me. You need to make calls right now. And uh, the whole time you hear him, thum, 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 thum. So, I, I think I know an explosion when I hear it. I was real close to Building 7 when it fell down. That didn't sound like just a building falling down to me while I was running away from it. Um, there's a lot of eyewitness testimony down there hearing explosions. I didn't see any reason for that building to fall down the way it did. And a lot of guys should be saying the same thing. You know, we heard this, this sound that sounded like a clap of thunder. Turned around, we were shocked to see that the building was, uh, uh, well, it looked like there was um, a shock wave uh, ripping through the building and the windows all uh, busted out. And, you know, it was horrifying. And then, uh, you know, about a second later, the bottom floor caves out. And uh, the building followed after that, and um, we saw the building crash down all the way to the ground. Captain Karen DeShore said, somewhere around the middle, there was this orange and red flash coming out. Initially, it was just one flash. Then this flash just kept popping all the way around the building, and that building had started to explode. After 9-11, the air at the World Trade Center site was extremely toxic, containing many times the safe level of asbestos and many other uh, dangerous particles. Although this was known, the White House ordered the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, to tell the people the air is safe to breathe. The EPA followed this order. As a result, many of the 40,000 rescue and cleanup workers wore no protective gear. So experts have predicted that more people will die over the next 10 to 15 years from breathing the toxic air than died on 9-11 itself. We have no a priori grounds to believe that the Bush administration would have been too morally sensitive to orchestrate 9-11.